Hi guys, one of my viewers asked me how much did Mark Cuban lose in the iron finance meltdown yesterday? And my first guess was maybe a half a million dollars. And then I later revised my guesstimate to one to two million dollars. And finally, I just decided, why don't I just look it up? I mean, it's a matter of public record uh, how much, you know, somebody uh, is trading. I mean, when you're trading on a public blockchain, a public ledger, you can actually just look at the at the trade. So why don't we just take a look at what happened yesterday in um, Mr. Cuban's wallet. Um, he exited uh, with 196,000 liquidity tokens, um, liquidity providing tokens for the Matic uh, the Titan uh, pair, trading pair. And so we know that this is the final amount that he had. So how much did he pay for 196,000 uh, LP tokens? And if we take a look at some of the trading history, So I want you to notice that on the 15th, and this is this is um, universal time, um, he started adding liquidity or creating the, the liquidity tokens, uh, adding liquidity between Matic and Titan. And we see that he did it again a later, a couple of hours later, adding more uh, liquidity, creating um, additional uh, liquidity in, in the LP tokens and you know we can see some of these big buys he's he makes a big uh, Titan purchase here 200 um, ETH 130 ETH hundred and fifty thousand dollars in Matic purchases um, and then we see a big uh, ad liquidity here and this is what I want to focus on because it's quite the large purchase it's a hundred and fifty uh, no, 541,000 Matic tokens and 16,000 Titan tokens. So if we take a look specifically at this particular um, this particular transaction on Polygon, uh, Polygon's PolyScan, we see that it's it's a really 800 uh, $883,000 worth of Matic um, at the Price at the it, it, Matic was selling for a dollar sixty three yesterday when this purchase was made, and so uh, we have an equal amount of Matic and Titan. So it looks like about one point six million dollars in just this one transaction alone. And notice that he got eighty five thousand tokens out of that. So let's do a little math. Um, if he paid, uh, he we know he, he so this accounts for 85,000 of them, but we know that he wound up with 196,000. I mean, we can go back and continue to look and we see him making more and more purchases and adding more and more liquidity here on the 15th, 1834. Uh, we can continue to scroll up and we see again adding liquidity on uh, the f uh, 15th, uh, adding liquidity on the 15th again. Uh, I don't see I'm removing any liquidity, it's just adding liquidity. Again, uh, adding more liquidity, adding more liquidity, adding more liquidity, adding more liquidity. Um, and this was yesterday late, I believe. And then we see he, 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 I never saw him remove any liquidity. So anyway, let's take, let's just figure out that if he had um, in this one transaction that we're looking at here, we'll use that as our model. He, he has 541,000 Matic, which is 883,000. Again, it's a, the equivalent in Titan. So he paid about $55 for each Titan that he purchased in this contract here. And so we see that one LP token is worth $20.77 at this particular price. Now, you might have paid a little bit less throughout the day uh, as he made additional purchases. Uh, Matic was a little bit lower in price, and we know that Titan was a little lower in price uh, as the day progressed. But if we take the worst case scenario here, 
and and value each LP token at twenty dollars uh, and seventy seven cents, then one hundred and ninety six thousand of these tokens is worth four million dollars. So he lost approximately four million, probably more like three uh, three point seven million or something like that. I mean, I didn't do all the math. I didn't look at every single transaction, although it's possible. But it, we know that this is a ballpark range of, of, of how much uh, was lost yesterday um, in iron finance. So what can we learn from this? Well, I think what we can learn is that iron finance has only been on Polygon uh, and the Titan token has only been on Polygon for about a month. So it's very new. It's untested. They, they had a, a sign on there saying this is alpha software. Um, you know, it, it really is was in its early stages or I, maybe I don't know when they put that on there. But uh, when I went to the iron website yesterday, the day before I got this message, this is alpha stage or whatever. So this was very early stages of this. It's it's completely untested. They came up with this idea of of uh, uh, burning Titan when you created the iron token and then minting Titan when you uh, when you removed your iron token. Um, so they have what they call bank where you mint and redeem USDC when you when you mint um, uh, an iron token, you deposit 75% uh, USDC and approximately 25% Titan. The Titan is burned. And then when you redeem your iron, you get back um, US dollar coin, uh, USDC, um, but you uh, mint Titan at that point. So, I mean, the price of Titan was going up because people were buying more and more iron. But then when they started uh, buying less iron and, and, and redeeming their iron for UDC, it went the other direction very, very quickly and it, it, and it went bust. And so this is what can happen when you are trading on these uh, automated market maker platforms. Uh, very risky because um, they're unproven. I mean, they just haven't been around for very long, so it's very speculative. I'm sure Mr. Cuban no, no, knows what he's doing and speculating, but um, the cost of speculation can be quite high. So you can make a lot of money in cryptocurrency fairly quickly, day trading in cryptocurrency, but you can also lose your ass. So be careful, guys. Uh, that's basically all I wanted to say. I wanted to remind you that I'm resurrecting this channel. Uh, after a four-year hiatus. And by the way, nothing I say in this, uh, these videos can be considered financial advice. See the legal disclaimer in the description below. If you like this content, um, please hit the thumbs up button to help promote the channel. Subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'm going to try to post a new video every couple of days. Um, also, leave a comment or question down below. I'm going to make a point of personally responding to every comment and question in, uh, in the coming months as a, as a commitment to try to grow the channel. So I hope that I've been of some help to you and yours. All the best, guys.